part one of the spoiled brat oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh i cannot wait i'm actually going to italy just for this one restaurant and i don't even know if the food's good because i only saw this on tiktok so if the food's good or not i don't care i still want to go and my parents have a ton of money, so we're going to take our private jet today. Because my mom is still famous, pregnant, and all. And modeling agencies still want to sign her. Like, I'm so glad that I look the most like her. My other siblings are so ugly. And I'm still going to a stupid public school with all the poor kids. Ew. I deserve to be in a private school, but my parents don't want me to be spoiled, so. Anyway, I wonder if my maids gave me some parfait today. Ooh, and some lemonade with a very nice view. Oh, I love being rich. All right, we're going there for a modeling job, remember? We're not giving her that restaurant. She's been super spoiled lately, and I recently got a call from a teacher saying that she was bullying kids. Bullying kids for what? Being poor, I guess. Jeez. Oh, Sometimes I just wish we could live in normal houses, but then we'd be harassed by fans, so. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go give this to her so she can pack, and I'll be right back. Izzy, can I come in? Mm. Oh my god, I'm living the life. I'm coming in. Is he? Is that my mom? Mom, get out! Just trying to give you your suitcase. For what? We're going there for dinner. We're not staying. Oh no, we are. No! I want to go there for dinner. I don't want to go there for your stupid modeling agency. I'm not going! Okay, I'm seeing that I spoiled you too much. And you know what? I shouldn't let you get used to talking to me like this. Well, you did, mom. And even if I am talking to you like this, we're rich, so why does it matter? Being rich doesn't mean you can disrespect your mother. Now, since you don't want to go, dad is the only one who wants to stay, so everybody else is going. Ugh, I don't care. The stupid private jet is not my favorite one. We only have one private jet. Ugh, my stupid maid did not make my bed. <sighs> Mom, we need to fire the maids. Huh? We need to fire the maid. He didn't make my bed. Oh my god, big deal. Make it yourself. Girls? Mommy? Hey, girls. You guys still want to come with us? Where are we going? We're going to Italy for a couple of days. What's that? It's like a vacation trip. You want to come with us? Duh. All right, girls, you get packed. I'll be back in here in about five minutes, and do not just pack toys, okay? Okay. All right. Mom is so stupid. She's so dramatic as well. I told her that I did not want to go to that stupid place for more than a day, and she's going to make us stay for a week. Like, are you kidding me? Ugh. I can't believe this. All right, I need to go make a snack basket so the kids aren't hungry. Uh, who is that? Mom? Mom, where are you? I'm in here, I'm in here. What is going on? There's people at our door. And they have like a ton of boxes. That's just fan mail. Come on, come meet them. No, what the heck? All right, fine, I can't force you. Everyone step off. I'm gonna scare them away. Um, hello? Hi, I have a couple of questions to ask you, and then I have some fan mail. All right, what are the questions? All right, first off, how old are you? I'm 32. All right, and how old were you when you had your first child? These are incredibly personal, but I was 24. All right, and how much kids do you have now currently? Okay, these are incredibly personal, and I don't want to answer them, so can we go on to the next one? Yes, um, do you prefer Louis Vuitton or Gucci? Well, I'm not really a designer type of person. If I had to choose between the two, I'd probably pick Louis Vuitton. Is that it? Um, no. I need to meet your kids. Um, yeah, you can step out of my house, though. My apologies. Yeah. But my kids hate paparazzi. Um, we aren't paparazzi. I've been in this industry for years. I know what paparazzi is. Just a different form of it. Um, but I have gifts. Keep them. Oh my god. We're still leaving, right? Yeah, but our perfect jet didn't get here yet. Well, I need to look cute for the paparazzi. I thought you hated it. When I was younger, I love it. Gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I really hope there isn't paparazzi right now. Because they see me eating this sandwich, they're going to talk about me. And I don't want that. Because I'll be bullied in school, but after a week, they'll forget about it because I'm rich. Mm -hmm. bing, 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 bing. Huh? Mom, someone's calling. Probably grandma. Just answer it. Okay. Hello? You need to take these gifts now. What gifts? What are you talking about? Who are you? There's somebody at your door asking questions. Take the gifts now. No, my mom doesn't want us to take the gifts. It could be dangerous. Take it or else. Your whole family is dead. Mom, somebody's telling us to take the gifts or we're all going to die. I'm sorry, we're not taking these gifts and we're not falling for your stupid scam. It's been years and you guys have still been harassing us. Please just go away. I'm so over this. I need to change this phone number. But who was that? A creepy stalker of ours. We can't just say that and walk away. It's been years though. <sighs> I can't believe that stupid flight got canceled. Well, I mean, we had it coming. Oh, hey, Michelle. Hey, I'm just cleaning the floors real quick, and then I'll be out of your way. Thank you again, Michelle. I appreciate everything you do. Is there anything you need today? Nothing much. I'm just kind of hungry, that's all. Well, you're always welcome to snacks downstairs. Thank you. Of course. All right, finally. Now I need to see how much I'm going to tip Michelle. Let's do 1500 There. Now I need to get unready because that stupid agency did not get back to me. So I'm not sure if I even want to go anymore. But my God, me and my husband have not spent any time together. We get he's super busy with his surgeries and everything. But I just feel a little lonely because my daughters are growing up. They have friends at school. Then my toddlers don't want anything to do with me. They don't want to play with their Barbie dolls. But I guess that's what being a mother is. Anyways, I need a bath. <sighs> my stupid freaking mom needs to get us a new trip. If we are going to Italy for dinner, then I want to go to Paris. Just to go see the Eiffel Tower and go back home. Mom, can I come in? Come in. Finally, you answered. 
look mom we're going to italy for a couple of days and i want to go to paris with the eiffel tower and then i want to go immediately back home i don't want to stay for any longer than a day well that's too bad what do you mean we aren't doing this again you are extremely spoiled you get everything you want and you still complain i don't complain i just want more and that's the issue you need to be grateful i'm grateful when i need to be and i'll be even more grateful if you take me to paris no you can go to paris and go to one of the schools there um i just want to go see the eiffel tower i don't want to go to a stupid school i hate the school here anyways i told you i want to go to a private school well you go to a private school and you can pay for it what is that supposed to mean that you're going to be doing yard work while michelle sits down and makes sure that you're doing it right mom i'm not doing yard work i've never done that a day in my life well there's a first for everything get to it you're joking right do you see my face you're wearing a mask so i don't see your face mom you're not actually considering it no i am in fact i've already made up my mind i can't just have you walking around i don't need you walking around school flaunting our wealth and even then it's me and your father's wealth not yours mom i can do whatever i want to if i have it i'm gonna flaunt it and that's your issue go do it now oh my god i seriously hate you Hope your stupid baby comes out ugly it's your brothers you need to get to bed <sighs> hey izzy shut up oh how do I use this? Um, would you like me to teach you? I'd like you to just show me and shut I wish you would just show me and shut up. Alright, there's no need to be rude. I'm just trying to help you out. I'm gonna put these down and I'm gonna help you out, okay? Making it so difficult. I just need you to show me how to do it. I don't need your help. All you do is click this button here. There. Finally, thank you. You're holding it wrong. Oh my god, can you just let me do what I need to? And you aren't supposed to clean the rocks. You're supposed to clean the floors inside. You know what? This is your job. I've never cleaned a day in my life, and I'm not going to start doing it now. So, have fun. I'd rather not go to school in Paris. I'd rather go in Colorado anyways. Hey, Mom. I changed my mind. Changed your mind about what? I don't want to go to school in Paris anymore. I want to go to university in Colorado. You're 13 years old. You need to be doing this. Oh my god, Mom. I just want to put my life out early. Who knows if you even want to go to university in the future? I want to go. I want to be a fashion designer. A fashion designer? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go start now, actually. I need a new MacBook. I bought you a new one last week. Exactly. It's broken again. I don't know what's going on, but I threw it last night by accident because I was raging at a game and kind of cracked a little bit. Absolutely not. I'm getting a new one until Christmas. Even then, you're getting two gifts on Christmas, and that's final. I'm trying to sleep. Who does she think she is? I cannot believe I'm raising a brat. All right, I am done for today. Hey, hun, is there anything you need me to do before I go? Make my bed and do it right. I did make your bed, and it was messy afterward, so you didn't do a good job. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't just glue down your sheets and keep them, you know, put together. You can, so go do it. Jeez, my mom is paying you for nothing. Oh, and I want some more parfait. I'm not your cook. I just clean, that's it. I don't care. You're gonna have to be a cook now. Go do it. I don't know how to make parfait. Just... I'll go to your bed, and I'll leave you alone. Fine. You're fired. What? You're fired. If you can't do simple tasks, what's the point of working here? Oh, please. I'll, I'll make it, okay? Nope. You had three chances to make me some parfait, and you didn't do it. So, you're fired. What is going on? I'm just gonna eavesdrop. And I hope mom kicks you and your stupid daughter out of that stupid maid's house. That's the only place we have to live. We can't afford to buy a new apartment right now. So, it's not my problem now, is it? I'm rich. I get to tell you what to do. So, go. You're fired. How much time do I need to say it before you go? Okay, that is enough. Cut it out. If you're not fired, you can go ahead and go. You are going to go make your own bed. Go to your room now. Mom, are you kidding? I didn't do anything wrong. I want her fired. She didn't make my bed, and, and we don't pay her just to sit around on her butt all day. She is so annoying, and she can barely clean. Your bed is messed up because you sat in it. Go to your room. I don't want to hear anything from you. <sighs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. I have a teenager. I get it. It's just so disrespectful and rude that she's acting that way. I shouldn't have let her get used to talking to anybody like that. It's not your fault at all. Teens will be teens. All right. Okay, well, I already sent in your tip, and I'll add a couple hundred more. All right, thank you so, so much. That's really going to help out. Of course, and again, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, my mom cannot be serious. There's absolutely no way that I'm doing any yard work, let alone apologize to that stupid, clearly brainless maid. If she can't clean my room, then what can she do? Like, we don't pay for her to sit on her butt all day. She didn't even wash any clothes. <gasps> hey, Charlotte. Hey, are you still coming to my house for that pool party? Um, sorry, I have work to do. Oh my gosh, you can just not do it. We're rich, we could just pay the teachers to give us A's. I want to go to a good university. I don't want everything handed to me in life, unlike you. Whatever, goodbye. Izzy, dinner's ready. Go away. My god, what do you want? I just told you, dinner's ready. Well, stop banging on my door. I'll come down when I want to. What's up with her? Hey, girls. You're home, finally. Yeah, I'm home. Um, but what's going on with your sister? I heard the chef isn't coming today. Mommy got mad at Sissy. So now Sissy has to cook dinner. Why is your sister cooking dinner? Because mama says she was taking it for granted. Yeah, but how do you know this? Because I was listening in, and I was hiding. Well, thank you. But I'm not too sure Izzy can cook. Mommy said Izzy's gonna have to learn. I'd like to see how this plays out. Thanks for telling me. You're welcome.
I'm so over this. I put on all this makeup just to get a boyfriend and nobody's coming to my pool party. Even then, we aren't going to Italy anymore. So now, I'm not going to have the house to myself. Can't host a pool party, so I'm going to be known as the lame kid in school. The lame rich kid, though. Hey, is Dad, you didn't knock. Yeah, yeah. I heard you're cooking today. Cooking? That's what your mom said, right? You're cooking dinner? I'm not cooking anything. I haven't cooked a day in my life, and that's an issue. Anyway, the chef isn't here, so you better get to it. Dad, I can't cook. Please tell mom I'm sick. Please. Oh. <sighs> I'm gonna burn the house down. I have never cooked ever. I don't even know how to turn the stove on. What do I do? I have an idea. I'm just gonna watch some TikToks on it, and if I can't find a good recipe, then I'm just not gonna cook. I'm gonna fake throw up, and that'll be that. How to cook a good dinner for your family? Ha! I have a recipe. Pancakes and eggs. Mom, I'm ready to cook. Mama's gonna be so shocked because I show her that I can actually cook. She's not gonna want me to do it ever again. That tasted great, Marco. Thank you so much. Of course, I'll just handle dishes for you then. Thank you. Actually, we're going to start a new thing around here. And I actually have somebody to do that for you. And you can still get paid. Oh, it's okay. I'll do it. No, it's fine. Hey, Izzy. What? There's some dishes in there for you. I'm not doing that. I have to make dinner. We already had dinner. I didn't. Well, you were too busy taking off your makeup and playing around. So, you're going to have to make your own. You're kidding me. You did that on purpose. I didn't. Yes, you did. Because you want to teach me a stupid, worthless lesson. I don't need to be taught anything. You may think that, but I think differently. I'll get to it. <sighs> you're such a jerk. There, I did it. Turn off the water. There. Is that all? Are you just not going to eat? All right, girls. Good night. I love you. <gasps> there is no way I'm going to bed starving. I'm definitely going to call the cops because this is not right. <gasps> I have an idea. I'm going to get my mom canceled from the internet. I'm just going to walk around with this outfit on and censor paparazzi is going to see me. And they're going to see that I'm in this outfit at 13 years old. And then my mom's not going to be able to do any more modeling. And she's going to be forced to cook me dinner. Because there is no way I'm making myself food. Anyways, I have to make my makeup look as terrible as possible. Like, I just decided to sneak out. Lip gloss and some mascara. Now, I'm going to go out looking like this. I just got out of a club. And the paparazzi is going to see me. And my mom's going to be on the internet. So now she's going to be forced to be a stay-at-home mom. Anyways, I'm going to pack a couple of clothes. Just so it seems that I'm sneaking out. I'm planning to stay somewhere else. I'm not going to even bring my keys because there's no point. Alright, let's go. Oh, shoot. I should probably mess my bed up to make it seem like I was actually laying in there. Right, let's take my computer off and my glasses on here. And I'm just going to use this to make it seem like I was actually sleeping. Okay, now I'm ready to go. I have to sneak out. Okay. Okay, I'm all done. And forget these stupid dishes. I just need to steal mom and dad's credit card information. And I can get whatever I want to. Alright, and let's just grab an umbrella. And I'm now leaving. Alright, honey, you need to get to bed. Mommy, when are we going to be out of here? It's so cold. Honey, I know it's... I can't afford anything right now. I'm so sorry. But what about the nice lady in the house? She can help us. She is helping us. Cannot ask her for any more money. I just feel terrible. She gave me a $2,000 tip today. Well, can we at least have dinner? Yes, we can. Let's see? This is all we have. Here, honey. Thank you, mommy. I love you. I love you too, buddy. I feel terrible. I'm gonna go check that stupid maid's cabin. And as soon as she moves out, this is gonna become my house. So look, it's have two houses. We have one mansion and one cabin in the back. Doesn't get greater than that. Anyways, just need to put in the code. And I'm in. <laughs> oh my god, shut up, stupid dog. I wonder if they're asleep. <laughs> he really lives in this dump with her son. Oh my god. He doesn't even have his own room. Oh god, I forgot to close the windows. Oh my god, she's gonna see me. And apparently close. Alright, now I just need to get to bed. Leo, what? What are you doing in my bed? I just can't sleep in that bed. It's so uncomfortable. Okay, well, just lay down, okay? That was a close call. But we did kind of trash their house a little bit. Let's do it some more then, huh? And this time, I'm going to record it. There we go. Hi, Instagram. So today, I'm going to be trashing my stupid maid's house. Now, we have two houses, technically. We have our maid's cabin, and then we have our huge mansion. And we're going to be trashing the maid's house. So let's just throw some chairs at her door. And I'm actually going to shove this one under her doorknob so she cannot move when she tries to get to work tomorrow. But then she'll get fired. Now I'm just going to take everything out of her fridge so it goes bad because she is so poor. All right, so we're just going to take out her milk so it spoils. And same thing with the chicken and the other meat. And the hot sauce is not supposed to even be in there. Anyways, this is how her kitchen looks. And I'm just going to throw a lot of firewood in her fireplace so the fire gets bigger so it doesn't go out. <laughs> okay, and post. That is definitely going to go viral. I'll take a milkshake for good work. That milkshake was disgusting. I'm pretty sure there was a dog hair on it too, but let's go live on Instagram. Hey, followers. How do you guys feel? Why would you post that? You are actually disgusting for treating your maids like this. If the fire becomes bigger, the cabin can set on fire. Put it out. Okay, if it does set on fire, then it sets on fire. May doesn't deserve to live here anyways. You're actually a jerk. I cannot believe your mother raised you like this. So it seems you guys are mad at my new post. And it's not that deep. It's literally just me messing up my maid's house for fun. You guys act like you haven't done that before. Because we aren't rich, spoiled brats. <laughs> I could have told you guys that you weren't rich. Just by looking at your profile picture, I can tell love.
Anyways, I just snuck out in my outfit. It's so cute. No, it isn't. You guys are just jealous of me because you will never be as pretty and as blonde as me. Anyways, I'm getting off of here. I'm going to trash my maid's house some more and maybe set the cabin on fire. Bye. I'm calling the cops. What? Who commented that? I wasn't actually going to do it. I was just kidding. No, this needs to be dealt with. Stop it. What is wrong with you guys? Don't ever call the cops on me for no reason. I was just kidding and I was only doing that for the views. And I was definitely going to clean your house right after I messed it up. Definitely. Okay, well, if you call the cops, tell them to come to my maid's cabin because that's the only way they can arrest me. Goodbye. Now my maid's gonna get arrested. God, I need to go though. That was hilarious. Ah! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. What do I do? My phone just froze. What do I do? Oh no, no, no. Do I like put it in here? This like made it explode. I can't get home. There's no way. There's gonna be water damage to it. I'm gonna have to get a whole new phone. I just hope it melts by the time I get home, which is in like two minutes. I'm so glad that the back door is never locked. Officers, I'm confused. My daughter was on live damaging her maid's home. That's what this report is about. A suspected break-in. Nobody broke in. In fact, my maid's house is right behind there. You can go and ask her. All right, well, we do have evidence of your daughter ruining the house. It's our property. How would that be a break-in? Your maid is currently paying to be there, right? But it is still our property. But your maid is currently renting it. Yeah, my property. And did your maid decorate that place? Pretty much, yeah. She could be taken to prison for damaging it. But this is all just crazy to me. My daughter would not do this. She knows better. All right, well, we're gonna go check it out then. Would you like to come with us? Sure. Oh, shoot. I actually called the cops. Okay, I need to hurry up and get to my room. And I need to immediately change. Because if they found out that I did it, I am going to jail. And I cannot. This stupid phone has not defrosted yet. I literally smell like grass. I'm going to put some of this on. I need to quickly change and put everything in here. I have these keys back. And just close this. 30 minutes later. Jeez. 14,000. It's a lot. <sighs> what are the cops here for? Apparently, Izzy went on Instagram and recorded herself destroying the maid's home. One of the viewers, I guess, called the cops, and now we're being fined. The maid is in there crying right now, saying that she wants to quit. Izzy did that? I don't know, they have proof. Somebody sent it in. Oh my god. Okay, enough is enough. What are we supposed to do about this? Send her to boarding school? That's what she wants. She wants to go to a boarding school in Paris. I told her now the first time, but now I'm really thinking it over. I don't know, we'll deal with this in the morning. Both off of work, right? Yeah, I don't have to do any modeling till next week, but I'm gonna go talk to her. Don't. I wanna see how she acts in the morning. What do you mean you want to see how she acts in the morning? You need to take control of this now, or she's going to think that everything she's doing is okay. We cannot have that. I know, but she's going to most likely forget about it and remember it and start panicking. In the morning. All right, Mark, how are we supposed to go out with this? Um, probably. Don't speak with toothpaste in your mouth. Spit it out and then talk to me. We'll ask her at breakfast and then we'll see how she responds. Okay, but I'm confused. How is she supposed to respond? If she actually did it, then she'll be panicked and you can tell that she's panicked. I can't. She starts playing with her hair. Uh-huh. Okay, well, I trust you, I guess. We'll just see how this plays out. Ooh, you know what? That model agency finally got back to me. And they want me to be in Italy by tonight, so I can say that we're going to Italy after we tell her that we know what she did. How about that? If she reacts all sad and upset, then I really know that she did it. I think that you're just bragging that you want to go to Italy. I don't want to go. I am going. Anyways, I'm going to get dressed because I have to leave at 9. Let's just wear this outfit that I was supposed to wear and get rid of these glasses. All right, cute enough. Gosh, Izzy, when I was scrolling on Instagram last night, I saw that you were live and I joined it and you were destroying the maid's house. What was that about? Don't say that so loud. I told you. It was just a little prank I was playing on the maid. It's not that deep. Yeah, but then the cops got called, so it is really deep. Yeah, and I heard the maid's quitting. <sighs> Finally. What'd you just say? Nothing. Hey, guys. Hey, Mom. What are you girls talking about? Mom, last night, Izzy... Don't say anything. All right. Izzy, what? What did Izzy do? Izzy stayed up till 3 in the morning. Izzy, what did I tell you about that? Sorry, Mom, I won't do it again. Hey, everyone. How do you look funny? What do you mean? Look at your shoes. All right, fine. Hey, Izzy. Hi, Dad. Sorry, the chef didn't make us enough food. It's fine, I'm eating at work anyway. Um, so, how'd you sleep? Oh, I slept fine. In fact, I haven't slept that good since we moved. That was two years ago. So, is there anything you want to tell us? No. What do I need to tell you? I was just asking. I thought you did extra homework, maybe extracurricular. Yeah, no, I'm not into that stuff. You know what you did, Izzy, just give it up. What did I do? Mom, how did you find out? Find out about what? Hey, fine. Did you want to act stupid? Yes, I trashed the maid's house, and I don't feel bad about it. I did it so that she could quit because I hate her, and I hate that she's living in my house. Izzy, you are absolutely kidding me. So you trashed the maid's house for no reason at all just because you wanted to live there. And that's the reason why I wanted her fired. I tried to fire her yesterday. You did not let me, so I tried to make her quit, and I guess it worked. So I'm going to go get ready for school. All right, well, I have news. We are all going to Italy. What? You said we weren't able to go. And we have school, so how's that going to work? Well, I already called out for you guys. The plane's going to get here at 9, so everybody needs to get their airport outfits on. I thought we are taking our private jet. We are. But this one has a pink interior. It's going to be super cute, and you guys are going to love it. I promise. <coughs> God, I am so excited. Gosh, Mom, once we get to Italy, can we please go see that restaurant? Oh, um, you aren't going. 
What do you mean not going? You're not going at all. I told you before, I'm over this bratty attitude and you treat everybody around you like crap, including me, your father, and your sisters. You even talk bad about the babies, but they can't hear me. It doesn't matter. You have been a jerk to everybody. So, we all need a moment to get away from you. Your dad is going to work extra hours, then he's going to meet us in Italy for two days. Me and your sisters are going to go today, and you're going to be spending the day at the maid's house, cleaning up. Oh, and we're deactivating all of your social media. Why? Because you've been nothing but rude to your fans, and they've been willing to buy you stuff and send it to you. All you've done is tell them that they're stupid idiots who have no life in their DMs, and it's rude. So what you're going to be doing here is cleaning the entire place. Mom, please. I'm sorry for whatever I did. I won't do it again. We will do it again. And that's why you're staying here. So get the apron on and get started on cleaning up breakfast. <sighs> We're all packed, Mom. That's nice, girls. I still need to pack, too. Can you wait? Me neither. Hurry, let's go. Just wait. All right, let's get the biz suitcase. going to pack some clothes and my dolly and my blankie. Okay, well, I'm all done. Now let's go put this downstairs. <sighs> all right. Just gonna use this suitcase and grab my coin purse. I'm just gonna pack a couple of outfits for me and Mark. All right, all ready to go. Let's see. Should I bring you? Uh, sure. Come on. Breakfast was terrible to clean up, and I'm not doing it ever again. In fact, I'm not eating till my mom gets back, because there's no way I'm cleaning up after myself. And I'm gonna sneak on that plane one way or another. This stupid phone's not defrosted yet. Oh, please tell me it's okay. Yes! The one thing that's going right in my life. Oh my gosh! Now I can sit on FaceTime all day and I don't have to do any chores because nobody's gonna be here for me to clean up after, so I don't care. All right, honey, this is where you're gonna be staying. Ooh, it's a really big house. I know. I used to work here, but a nice lady said that you can stay in here, okay? Yes! I need a big room and a big bed. I'm so excited. <sighs> Why are you in my house? Who are you? The nice lady said I can stay in here. Who is the nice lady? Who even are you? The nice lady that looks like you. He said I can stay in here. Well, this is my room, so get out. Okay, I'm sorry. Mommy, I'm not allowed to be in there. What do you mean you're not allowed to be in there? What's going on? The main lady kicked me out. She said it was her room and not mine. <gasps> Crap. I'm here. I'm sorry, honey. I got the wrong room. That was completely my fault. It's okay, mommy. Ugh. What an idiot. Anyways, I need to pack because I'm going. I don't care if my mom said no. She can tell me no on the plane before we arrive because there's no way I'm staying alone with this stupid maid and her son. Like, ew. How am I supposed to sneak onto the plane? <gasps> I'll lock my door. I'll get a taxi before they come. And I'll get on the plane before then because I already know. I already know our private jet takes off. So I have to jump down. Three, two. Thank you, bye. Oh my god. I just barely made it. Um, there my passport skin and hurry up. All right, there. What's the rush? None of your business. All right, all right, back check. Come on. Hurry up. They're going to come here now. All right, is that everything? Mm-hmm. Girls? I think that's everything. Yeah, I got Mr. Reindeer, too. All right, well, that's good. Let's go. Mom, the suitcase is heavy. What you guys pack in here? Some clothes in my dolly. Ugh, no way they just got in. No. Hi, I'm ready to be scanned. All right, we'll go in. Okay? Give me about two minutes. I'm going to go check. They never do this. <sighs> Well, I mean, the bag is just sitting right here. What's the harm in running in? Hi. What's the rush? You need to wait like everybody else. This is a private jet. What are you talking about? This is a regular airplane. Okay, well, I don't care. <gasps> How am I supposed to hide from them? I have an idea. I'm just going to sneak back here and do my hair really quick. All right, and I'm just going to hide in the back. And I need to pretend. Hi, ready for our flight? You can go ahead and step in. Thank you. All right. I know I said there was going to be a pink interior, but it was already in use when your dad and I tried to get to it. Oh, man. I know, I know. Now, uh, let's just put all the bags. Hold on. Isn't that Izzy's bag? Oh my gosh, mom. People can have the same bag. It's not that deep. All right, girls. I was just trying to see because you know how Izzy is. And if she wanted to, she most definitely could sneak on this plane. All right, both of you sit here. And I'm just going to sit right here. All right, everybody. We are now taking off. I have to pee. Jeez, how am I supposed to get out? Susie, so, so let's go play in the back. Okay. I saved our stuffed animals. All right. Let's go. Sissy, Izzy's back here. Izzy? Izzy, what are you doing? Shh, don't say anything. Why are you here with us? Mommy said you couldn't go. Just shut up. Buy you some chocolate when we get back home. Just don't tell mom I'm on this airplane. In fact, I'm going to go sneak back here, okay? I've never had to pee this bad in my life. Sissy, let's not be a tattletale. Let's just let Sissy have her mission. But mommy said we should be good girls and tell her when everything goes wrong. I know, but Sissy's going to be mad at us. And if we don't tell mommy, then mommy's going to be mad at us. So let's just not say anything at all. Okay, now let's watch some TV. <sighs> Girls, stay here. I'm gonna go grab some food. Okay, what do you want? I want a sandwich. I don't want juice. All right. Mm -hmm. Izzy? Mom? No. No, about what? What are you doing here? 
Because, Mom, I wanted to go. I told you why you couldn't go. Well, it's not fair. All you do is favor the four of them, and you barely have any time for me. In fact, you care more about the unborn babies than me. It's annoying, Mom. I miss when I was an only child. Honey, if you really felt that way, you would come to me. You can't just bully everybody because you're having a hard time. You go talk to somebody about it, okay? Okay, Mom. You are still grounded because everything you did still has consequences. Just because you're having a bad day doesn't mean everybody else should, too. I have to turn this whole entire plan around and go home. Excuse me? Izzy? What are you doing here? I got caught sneaking in. I've been here the entire time, and that's my backup there. I heard you ask if it was mine, and yes, it is. Well, at least you get to come to Paris. No, Mom's turning the plane around. Oh. All right, girls, well, I still have to get to the modeling job, but we'll spend a day in Paris. Now we're coming back home, and you're getting your phone taken away. All right, Mom. All right, guys, that's the end. I want to start a new series, so this is the end, and yeah.